Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kuzma TV. As you just saw, the new trailer for the WWE 2K24 release. Uh, very exciting, very cool. Uh, definitely a little different, and this is directly from WWE.com. And I figured we'd just go through, you know, some bullet points, and some stuff really, really jumps off at me. For example, uh, Showcase the Immortals. Pretty cool. I'm surprised it took them this long. 40 years of WrestleMania? That's going to be absolutely insane. And uh, it says, 40 years in the making, the WWE 2K24 showcase of the Immortals puts players in control, playing through the most iconic moments in WrestleMania history, like you saw Shawn Michaels, Undertaker, as 2K's dis distinctive slingshot technology seamlessly morphs gameplay to live action footage, which I always thought they did very well, so I, I'm excited for that, and a host of unlockable content at challenges and replay value. Uh, the roster, um, of course, you got Stone Cold, Undertaker, Andre, you know, I feel like that's pretty boilerplate. Uh, no one, I feel like, super, super new. However, the new match types. Pay attention to this. Very exciting. Four new chaotic match types. Special guest referee, which, oh, thank God they added this back. I, I don't know ever why they took it away or did away with it. It's so much fun to have a special guest referee. Like, you know, exactly. Like, um, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Undertaker at, at uh, WrestleMania. Fantastic. Very excited about this. Ambulance match. Pretty cool. Casket match. I'm pretty excited about that. And the gauntlet match. So that would be that gauntlet that they posted on um, Instagram. In addition, Backstage Brawl now supports four-player. Kind of cool. And they have new uh, environmental... You, know, you can interact with stuff like an elevator, control room glass, and a vending machine with throwable sodas, which is kind of cool. The Royal Rumble now offers support for eight online players, which is kind of pretty cool to have up to eight people online in a... Um, Royal Rumble, you know, and then of course, War Games, Extreme Rules, all the good stuff that was there last year is coming back. Um, another part I'll call you out to is the gameplay upgrades. Super Finishers, interested to see what that is. The Trading Blows mini game, and one this is kind of silly, but I, I really like it is the top dope, uh, top rope dive onto a group of opponents outside the ring. We see that all the time in WWE and AEW, but I think this will be the first time. Double title matches, finally. New paybacks and more. Uh, new weapon types. Uh, you know, trash cans, guitars, microphones, all that stuff. Um, I'll be interested to see how this affects kind of the modding scene. Because um, I remember last year for 2023, some people have got some really cool mods going. So I'll be interested to see how that plays out. And then for the My GM, this for me last year kind of fell a little flat in my opinion. Um, but it seems like they're making improvements on it. More drama, more championships, talent scouts, superstar trading, contract management, stuff like that. I think my only complaint with GM and universe mode is I don't understand why they don't lean in, create a second mode where you're like Triple H sitting in the gorilla position. Like we all know it's scripted. Why don't why don't we have that control ability? Uh my faction, I never really paid my faction, to be honest with you. I Never really cared for it that much, um, but it seems like, again, they're making pretty good um, improvements to that. My Rise, uh, one for the men and the women, pretty cool about that. Um, and different storylines, let's hope the voiceover is a little bit better. Universe mode, um, this is kind of cool. So you're kind of, you know, you're directing your own universe. But the one thing I'll call your attention to is the run-ins, money in the bank cash-ins. If that can be predetermined... I think that's a huge step forward because now it's just kind of like, oh, put it on and, you know, hope for the best. Um, new cutscenes, um, and they're going to have the double title matches and the special gifts for us for free. So that's that's going to be pretty cool. And the creation suite, as always, will be absolutely fantastic because some of the WWE um, people that create for this, uh, they do next level stuff, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Peacock, I guess. I thought they were moving away from Peacock. Uh, but there's a couple additions, standard. Standard cross-gen digital, not sure what that is. Deluxe and 40 Years of WrestleMania. So you got a couple options to choose from. Honestly, I'll probably get the 40 Years of WrestleMania because it seems fantastic. Holy crap, it's 120 bucks. So um, standard edition will be 60 bucks on previous gen and 70 on current gen. Interesting that they consider PC previous gen. That to me, that makes absolutely no sense. I, I, I don't understand that at all. Uh, the cross-gen 
will be available for 70, Deluxe, 99, and then the 40 years of WrestleMania. Uh, but that will be on PC as well. That, that PC doesn't get any love, man. Any love. Uh, and this is the cover for Cody Rhodes. Looks pretty cool. I love that the Deluxe Edition is something completely different with uh, Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley. Pretty cool. And the 40 years of WrestleMania, whoever designed this, fantastic job. I loved it. I I like the, the style, how it's done, and I like all the different superstars. So overall, pretty good. I will admit this release is got me a little excited. I'll be honest with you, because 23 kind of fell a little bit flat for me, and Fight Forever has been... It's a different game, Fight Forever. So I'm excited for this. We'll see. I don't think we have a release date as of yet, but thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.